I had seen the gentleman sitting in his car, right? Uh, Officer Solorio, who was sitting in his car idling. And I think I heard he was looking down, maybe he was texting, maybe, oh, who knows, right? He was looking at his cell phone. And um, I never saw the shooter walk up, but I definitely saw him as he was standing, you know, uh, discharging his, uh, his weapon, and as well as when the car was spinning, taking one last pop shot. And I mean, now at that point, it involved me because I was in the direction of the vehicle as well as the direction of the shots, right? You know, uh, part of me wanted to rush the guy, to be honest with you, it, it, dead on. I, 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 it just bothered me that somebody would um, be so careless about human life and disregard, right? And then afterwards, be so nonchalant about it, kind of just walking off, kind of no big deal, right? And uh, I, I was angry. I was angry at that moment. When I got him out of the vehicle, uh, so laying him down on the ground, I mean, I knew it was extremely hot, an extremely hot day. So laid him down, um, went down with him uh, and uh, just uh, completely took his shirt off, tore it off of him. And that's when I could see all the wounds, right? Where he had been hit. Yeah, he, he definitely gave me the look of, uh, I need help. So, uh, I checked for a pulse and I could still feel a thing pulse. Um, and uh, that's when I started doing CPR on the, on the uh, officer, officer uh, Solorio. Somebody from the gym came out and I later found out that the vehicle uh, had come to rest or slammed into this person's vehicle. So he kind of came out to figure out, hey, what just happened to my car? They got slammed into, right, by the officer Solorio's vehicle. Well, uh, he happens to be a pastor. So he comes out, he started praying. He was praying over me and he was praying for the officer the entire time. And I remember that clearly. I mean, I remember his prayer. You know, give him strength, give him courage, give him the tools needed, Lord, all, all of that. And I never experienced that on any incident. So this is why this one's a little bit different. I hope that I was able to be there and if anything, be there in his last passing moment, right? As he was passing on. Just trying to be there, I give him a fighting chance. I don't think I did anything special. I don't feel that there was anything I did that uh, deserved this award, right? I would have done it for anyone else, uh, whether civilian, police officer, uh, I'd like to just say thank you and I uh, feel really bad that I wasn't able to do more for Officer Solorio and uh, stand.